Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home with a certified car nut. Well, this week I'm in Casper, Wyoming at the Oil Capital Auto Club's Memorial Day event. This is a really cool show with cars from all over the Rocky Mountain states scattered around here on the grounds of historic Fort Casper. There's some really interesting stuff here. So what do you say we get around and see how they do it out here in the wild, wild west? Steve, you got yourself a real cream puff here, I must say. <laughs> what are we looking at? This is a 35 Terraplane? 35 Terraplane. They didn't call it a pickup, they called it a Cab Express. A cab Express. Untouched original. Untouched original. I've put new tires on it, new plugs, uh, clutch. The clutch is a fluid driven cork clutch. Oh, a cork clutch, wow. Cork wow. clutch. Ooh, wow, wow. But what a, I mean, what a find. Where did you, where did you find this? I found it in 91 at Harris Car Museum. And Everybody was buying the restored stuff, and it, for some reason, I picked up a Hemmings in January, and I seen that it said there was three known in existence, and I, since I had a couple Terraplanes, I just had to have it. So I went to the auction, and here it is. So how many did they make? Uh, they made 332. And how many do you think are left? Three? Well, the club, Hudson Club says two. Two left? This one and another one in Florida that's a hot rod. But this is just bone stock. You know, one of the things I saw when I came up, I just love these these headlight buckets and what a lens. I mean, you don't want to break that baby. No, I broke one. Whoa, whoa. So now I use a little, little primitive, but my wife says this is the hillbillies. <laughs> <laughs> this is how the clampets had saved their headlight. And you just you just clips right in. Clip to the hood to latch. The hood latch and, and off we go. Off and that you go. So that's your new headlight bucket, right? That's my headlight. That's, that's <laughs> the true meaning of a headlight cover. Man, that's, that is unbelievable. And you know, there's, there's surface rust on this, but the body looks really good. And there's, you know, there's metal there. There's some serious metal there, man. You want to hear it? Sure, man. She this fires the, up. This is the best part of it. It's like a fine tooth sole machine here. Time and time again. Oh man, listen to that. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. 1935. Wow. <laughs> got, got the 35. That is just smooth as silk. Just kind of chicka 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 chicka. So, what does it have for it? Well, this was called the Big Six. And they were one of the first ones to mess with a Molly or add Mollies to a block to make it tougher. I got new plugs and a couple things, but other than that, it's totally original. Never been a part to your Never knowledge. been a part to my knowledge. And she still runs like that. Still runs. Man. Isn't that a testament to why they built them? <laughs> it sure is. Now, there were a lot of a lot of options on these cars. Everything, you paid for almost everything. You paid on them, for right? everything, from the rear view mirror to the jockey box to the wipers. Yeah. Uh, a radio, a heater. The radio was $12. Uh, that's kind of crazy. A little pricey at $4 for a mirror. It used to have a <laughs> thermometer in it. Wow, and I mean, she starts and everything. Do you, do you ever drive it? Oh, I drive it every day. I do my recycling in it. I do my yard work with it. So this is just tooling around town, right? I drive it every day, <laughs> if I could. We're in Wyoming, and it's a little hard to drive Sometimes, in the Sometimes, yeah. I mean, oh man, this this is so cool. Steve, you're my hero. Thanks, Dennis. <laughs> 35 Terraplane, what's it called? Cab Express. Cab Express. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Oh, Milo. A 59 T-Bird. I love these guys. Believe it or not, this was my first car. I, really? My first car, I was 15 years old. I bought a 59 T-Bird for 100 bucks, so you can imagine the condition. <laughs> um, but it was it was pink also. I didn't I didn't know that. It was dusk when I bought it. I woke up, it was pink. I was like, oh my God. But <laughs> but the original color was actually called Flamingo in 59, it and it was lighter than this. This it is was. a darker pink. Yeah. This is, uh, I, when I had it repainted, I had it cr a cross between a flamingo and a coral. Right, And right. Um, it softened a little bit. Yeah, well what sold me on the car when I bought it, mine had, and again, I didn't know that it was pink. <laughs> <laughs> but it had a black interior, black leather, and bucket seats. And you know, they're really only a four passenger car. You yeah. know, and, and 
Now you've made it actually only a two passenger car. Where'd you find this? Well, I, um, they make them and I had to have it remade to fit, but uh, I did it mainly for the looks and for the storage underneath because when the roof goes back into the trunk, there's no storage. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because I had the hard top. I, I didn't have that fancy convertible here. Yeah. I didn't have no fancy convertible. But, but in the hard top, the trunk pops up like regular, but in the convertible, she comes up like this, doesn't she? Does, it? yeah. And then everything goes back there. It does. So do you have, do you have, uh, your seats under here? Or? No, well, I did for a while, but then I took them out because uh, there I just needed the room, yeah. and nobody sees under there anyway, and uh, so I wanted to make it practical. So, so you really do have like a 19 foot long, 5,000 pound <laughs> two seater. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah. Boy, I tell you, that interior looks great. Thank and you. then you even put on a continental kit. It wasn't long enough, was no, it? No, it wasn't. No. So let's add another 18 inches. Now these came with a 352, or you could get the optional 430, I guess. There was, but that was a pretty rare that option. That really was, yeah. yeah. So do you still have the 352 in it? Uh, unfortunately, no. I had the 352 rebuilt and the block cracked, so Ooh, what I did I is... I threw a rod in mine, so I know, <laughs> I know, I know that happens. It doesn't dry very well No, that way, it really so. doesn't. I put a 390 in it, which is exactly the same block, yeah. uh, different bore. So, so she just set right in there? Set right in there, everything went right on it. And this also was a chrome package that you could get from the dealer on the engine. Both the valve covers, covers and, and the... and the hair, oh, air cleaner. Uh -huh. Man, that, that does really dress it up, man. It's uh, it, you know, she's just, it's just absolutely a beautiful car. Thank now, you. Now, do you drive it much or? I drive it all the time. Do you really? Two car shows anyway. Yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah. Where, and where are you from? I'm from Denver, but I'm originally from Casper. Did, you didn't drive this up here. I did. You did? From Denver? Missed tornadoes and hailstorms and <laughs> rainstorms, but we made it. <laughs> Man, I respect that. I love your bird, Milo. Thank you this very much. Stunning, stunning example. Thank you very much. Thanks for bringing it. You bet. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Jim, this is a sweet car. 55 Chev sedan delivery, right? Right. Man. Now, was this, did it start life as a sedan delivery or did you make it into a sedan delivery? It's a sedan delivery. So many people come up to me in shows and say, Mr. Why'd you fill the windows in your Nomad, you know? <laughs> no, I didn't actually do that. It kind of sort of came that way. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, and I like your graphics too. That looks like almost, you know, some 70s uh, van era graphics. And that's the, the painter that did them was an old van painter. And oh, really? He really put some thought into them. Yeah, and interior's cool. It looks, is that ostrich? Kinda? Sorta? Fake ostrich. Fake ostrich, man. You know, those fake ostriches are hard to raise. <laughs> <laughs> they are tricky. You have them only out, only out here? Yeah, along with the Wyoming jackalope. <laughs> <laughs> Another rarity, Wyoming specific rarity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put a four speed in it, I like that. A Muncie M21. Yeah, with an eight ball shifter. You bet. And you swapped out to digital gauges. Right. Is that is that a, a full package of? A Dakota digital. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, that works nice. But the, uh, the the sedan deliveries opened like this, right? Right. So that that was the, the back hatch, and there it is, the, the Margarita Madness. And what, what runs it down the road? What's your, what's your engine? 350, tweaked a little bit. Tweaked a little, let's go it, look at it. It breathes better. Man, that's nice. That's kind of hard to keep clean though, isn't it? It's really insane. <laughs> Is that why you covered the louvers? I did, to keep the water off the engine and then that cured a heating problem I was having, so. No kidding, she doesn't know. Now why would that be? Apparently the air wasn't going where Detroit designed it to go. It was going out the hood. And... Wow. Well, and you get the added effect here, kind of the mirror and... and uh... So I can you, really see what I'm You I can missed. really see. see a, by the way, there's a spot back oh, there. Oh, look at yeah. these. We got yeah. bugs there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, close her up, man. Now, you're you're from Casper here, right? Right. And in fact, part of the, the committee, the, the club that puts this on. Yes, you bet. It's a heck of a show, man. Good club here. Good, yeah. Good people. And what a, what a location, Fort Casper. This is really cool. Well, you got one of the, one of the wildest rides here. Margarita Madness, huh? Well, thank you. Well, Lee, this is a wild car. This is an 84 Ferrari. Ferrari. 400, right? Correct. That's correct. I don't know that I've ever even seen one of these. This is a pretty rare car, isn't it? It's very rare. This is only about 200 to 300 in the United States total. Wow. When only did they make them from? From about 76 to 84. And it's, only a couple of couple hundred came over. Couple only a couple three. hundred. Wow. And it's got to be the only one in Casper. Only one in Casper. <laughs> now, is it a steel body? Steel body, handmade. How do you how do you get it serviced in Casper? I do a lot of it myself. Really? I mean, that's a complicated help. engine. It's it's still just an engine. Still just an engine. You know, <laughs> well, that's that's the right way to look at it. <laughs> and I guess yeah, I guess that's true. But man, it's a you know it's a different body style too. And what an interesting color for a Ferrari. It's it's brown basically. It's, it's Ferrari maroon, which is Italian for, for brown. For brown. <laughs> but you get back here, and it's clearly Ferrari. I mean, back here it's framed, two taillights on each side, the rearing stallion. I mean, that's that's clearly Ferrari. When I went by, the, the interior is gorgeous. It's completely original. Uh, yes. 
man. And it's it, it's an automatic? Automatic. Ferrari 400 was the first body that um, Ferrari made with an automatic transmission. Man. Well, how does she how does she perform? I mean, does it do well with an automatic? It does well. It, it, it's a high RPM car. It, it, the um, power band is up in the RPM, so once you get up, it does really well. So what, what power is it? I mean, it's a Ferrari. Does it have a V12? 12-cylinder up front. Well, that's, that's Ferrari, all right. And it looks like a driven Ferrari. Yes, it is driven. I, I enjoy the car. I think they're, they're here to be, be driven, taken good care of, but have fun with it and drive them. It, it's got great lines, man, and it, and it is. It's the only one here. Thanks so much for bringing it Oh, you're it welcome. Out. Thank you for talking with me. Way cool car. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Joe. <laughs> Smoking Joe. <laughs> what do we got here? We got a 30 Model A? A 1930 Model A pickup. It's all steel cab. Hauler. Right? Uh, yep. This is cool. Now, did you build this, baby? Yes, I did. It's my first attempt at metal fabrication and body Really? So, so, I mean, you, you fabricated a lot of this stuff? Uh, like, yeah, about 85% of it I built myself. Man. So, I, I mean, like, you, you did the bending and all that? I did the bending, made my own tools out of pipes and... Really? Yeah. Wow. Boy, you do nice work, man. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I'm a carpenter by trade, so yeah? I think I had an eye for straightness and roundness and, yeah. and stuff like that. And, this is this is really cool. So she's a steel cab, right? All steel cab. And how about the fenders are glass? No, the fenders are glass, front and rear. It's the only thing that's glass. And it wasn't this long, was no, it? No, no. I put the 12-inch extension on it. The old Model A's wasn't much room in there to no. drive. And you're a big boy. And, and you know, yeah. the older you get, the bigger you get. <laughs> and so uh, I found a back window, opera window, out of a 28 uh, four-door sedan uh -huh. that matched the body line, and I shortened it down to make it look good and added the, the foot onto the, the cab. Wow. And then flush mounted the doors and then also suicided them. Oh, did you? Nice, mm -hmm. nice. And you did all this? Did all this. That's mm -hmm. really impressive. And then you you did make it for comfort. I see it, you know, it's, it's you, you can move back there. You can yes. get some space. Yep. What's yep. your, is that bird's eye maple? This is bird's eye maple. Like I said, I'm a carpenter by trade. This is the very first thing that I did. Nice job. And uh, of course you got, trucker, you gotta have air horns. <laughs> Well, of course. I mean, it wouldn't be right. And was it a was it a, a hauler when you found it? Or? Um, when she she bought it for me for our 30th wedding anniversary. How oh, cool! You and got a good a, woman, man. Yes. <laughs> Br five four nine. Br five four nine. What's the story on that? Um, hee haw! Years ago. Yeah, yeah. There was a uh, guy on there named Junior Samples. Everybody right. knows who he is. He yeah, used yeah. to sell uh, used cars in a cornfield. <laughs> and he always said, if you want to buy a used car, you call me at BR549. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I lo well, man, I, I, you know, I love the look of this thing. And you've chromed out, uh, you know, the, the hook and everything. Yes. I mean, smoking. <laughs> and Colorado, you uh, live in Denver, just east of Denver. And you Colorado. drove up here in this? We, we drove, yes, we've got, it's our third year, and I've got 15,000 miles on it. Third year for the truck? Or for the truck. Really? Now, have you ever been to this show before? No, this is the first time we've ever come It's kind of here. a cool show, isn't it? Oh, it is. So far, it's great. It's I love the setting great. and the Fort Casper. It's really nice. Let's look, let's look at that engine. Sure. So you got a blower, too. <laughs> yes. I've got a uh, L82 Corvette 350 with yeah. a 144B&M blower. That's nice. And how does she run? She runs good? Oh, it runs great. Uh, we, we've got some highway gears on it, so it's 70, 75. It cruises very nice. That is really cool. You know, a lot of people ask me, ask them, I don't show the motor, and you and I look at the truck, I go, why? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, <laughs> exactly. there's so much to look at anyway. But, it, uh, it, this is a really great job, and I'm just really impressed it was your first time out. Well, thank you, Dennis. Man. I appreciate it. Joe, excellent work. BR549. Five, four, nine. Nine. <laughs> oh, man. We had a blast here at the Memorial Day Car Show in Casper, Wyoming. There are some really cool cars here, and this is such a beautiful part of the country. It's a little bit of an outpost, but believe me, it's worth the trip.